let's talk about that. You're easily one of the more vocal players in the big leagues, involved with the organization. What got you into it? I'll never uh, forget that we had a meeting when I was with the Mariners. Um, it was 04, 05, and Steve Rogers came in there and told me, he said, you're gonna, it's the statement, you're gonna be a former player a lot longer than you're gonna be a current player. Just that simple statement just like resonated with me, and I just thought about that and thought about it, and I was like, hmm. Okay, and then I just, obviously I delved more, dove more into uh, what BAT actually offers, and then um, 2010, I was actually put on the board of BAT, and I think the work that they do for the baseball family, and it's, it's not just the players, it's the umpires, the, the, the organization, all of that kind of stuff is, what they do is just heartwarming because it's a family. You know, we see... People, the people, outside world doesn't understand. For eight months, we see our PR people, we see our community relations people, our managers, our teammates, our trainers. We see them more than we see our actual family. And end of the day, things happen in life. And it's great that you have a backbone like that. Not all, not all organizations have that. And to be a part of it and see the actual work that they really do is is, is some of the most uh, heart, heartfelt, heartwarming things I've ever been a part of. And like you said, you've been on the board since 2010. Yeah. And you're actually Thank pretty you. hands-on with it. Yes. Oh yeah. Ten meetings. Um, uh, me and Gary Thorne started a scholarship fund, so I'll, I've been on plenty scholarship calls and reading over applications for various players and various players' interests. So I'm, I'm hands-on with it, and I think that it's it's good because it gets me away from the day-to-day -day of just simple baseball. My mindset's always baseball. Um, obviously, this is helping the baseball family, but it's something that it's I can dig into my my other half of my brain and not just always think about physical. I can think about you know, giving back to people and helping out people that actually need the opportunities and need, need the, the, the second chance. And just by doing that, you've set a great example inside the Baltimore Orioles clubhouse. Sure, I mean, you see there's a lot of guys that um, have done individual charities. Mike Wright is doing the right state of mind for dementia. Um, Michael Gibbons does a lot of great things down in Florida. CD is taking over children's hospitals in, in Baltimore. Um, so it's it, yeah. um, Kashner, the children's hospitals and churches. Kashner, he came up to me and was like, "Is there anything that I can do to help this city? You know, with anything charitable?" And no one ever asked me that. You know what I mean? And so you got a lot of good guys that understand their roles as obviously on the field between these lines, but understand the impact that they can make off the field. And that's that. That's the part that we. Uh, we should understand more is that we have we have an impact beyond just the diamond and sometimes we have to use it because just the smallest awareness the smallest raising money the smallest uplifting somebody is they, you don't you don't know how far that can go for that for that uh, other individual what's been the one moment that's really kind of touched you that you've seen that yourself you've made an impact with somebody or a, a group of people um this my it's hard to pinpoint one thing but it's one kid that is playing with the Brewers, and he was part of my RBI program. He's in Double A with the Brewers, raking, by the way. So hopefully he can be knocking on the door next year. The various kids that you know, have, me and my wife have put through, not have put through college. Um, the programs that we've created to help kids without the resources get into college, get the applications done. Some kids don't have a simple $50 to put in application. It was $50 when I was in high school. I don't know what it is now, but people, kids don't have the simple dollar amount for that. And they might want to go to two or three schools. So you're stuck, you're stuck with either going to a community college or not going anywhere. Um, so just the small things like that and trying to just create awareness for these kids and give them something, give them a backbone, you know, like me. I've, I didn't become successful by my own. I had various parents affording the tournaments. I couldn't afford the tournaments. So if you have someone, you know, a crutch, someone to lean on, that's all I'm trying to create for this, for this next generation. And it, well, what I've done in Baltimore, it was that, is to um, just try and let the, kid, the city know that you know, someone cares. You know, it's not just, uh, it's not just a you against the world mentality. Someone cares. You just have to find that path and you have to find the ones that do.